This question is about Genesis 6, 19 and Genesis 7. The question is, why so many differences in numbers of animals gathered to be added to the ark? And so in Genesis 6, 19, uh, the text says that of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every sort into the ark. And then in chapter 7, verses 2 and 3, uh, the writer tells us that they are to take, that Noah was to take seven pairs of all clean animals and a pair, a single pair of the animals that are unclean, the male and female. Um, I think that probably what's going on here is that you've got seven pairs of clean animals and you've got one pair of unclean animals. Probably had to do with maybe two things. One is uh, diet. They could eat clean animals. And so while they're on the ark, they could eat some of the clean animals and there would still be a pair remaining after the flood is over for them to uh, procreate and replenish the earth. Second thing is regarding sacrifice. We see that in Genesis and we certainly see it beyond that God made a distinction between clean and unclean animals regarding sacrifice. And so for there to be animal sacrifices, there needed to be more clean animals on the ark than unclean. So I think probably some combination of those two factors influenced the reason why God told Noah to include more of the clean animals and fewer of the unclean. I hope that answers your question. So seven pairs of clean and one pair of unclean based on diet and sacrifice.